Hey guys, welcome to another lunch home review. Today I'm going to try this new Banquet Mega Bowls. This is the Dynamite Penne and Meatballs. Dynamite, I'm assuming it's going to be spicy. It's meatballs made with chicken, uh, pork, and beef, and spicy creamy tomato sauce layered over penne pasta topped with mozzarella cheese. Um, the picture looks really good. We bought these at Meyer. They were $2.39, $2.39, so it's not, not bad at all. It's a pretty good sized meal too. 14 ounces or 386 or 396 grams. Um, it's a pretty good sized meal. It's also pretty good sized calories. 590 calories. Some of you might not think that's a lot, but I think that's a, quite a few calories. But uh, here's your other information for you if you want it. Well, definitely not a keto meal. 52 grams of carbs. Um, let's see. Only cook in the microwave. Um, oh, no, it has a conventional oven. There's the conventional oven directions. If you want to cook in the oven, there they are. So in the microwave, we're going to microwave high for four and a half minutes. Do not vent. Stir and replace film and cook for another one and a half to two and a half. I'll probably just do two. Check the food is cooked thoroughly because everybody has a thermometer in their work. Uh, but yeah, make sure it's hot enough. Uh, should be fine if you cook it on their times. That's a pull tab. Thank you. It's a little easier for me to open. A little bit easier. Not really easy. A little bit easier. Okay, so here's the meal. Uh, quite a bit of pasta. You get quite a bit of meatballs in there too. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 meatballs. That's, uh, that's not too bad. That's what I can see. There might be some other ones uh, buried somewhere. So, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be right back. All right. Here it is. Out of the microwave. First of all, it looks really, really good. And it smells really good too. And uh, it smells very tomatoey. Steam. Uh, so, that tomato sauce is really coming through as far as the smell goes. So I'm going to let this cool off. Probably cut some of these meatballs in half just to let them cool off a little bit. But you see you get quite a bit. And I'll be back. Okay, I gave it some time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm going to take. It's got pasta and I cut the meatballs, like I said, in half. So here we go. Mm. And there's red sauce everywhere. So you're going to avoid that. Um, definitely when I say dynamite, they mean dynamite. It's spicy. It's not like... Um, I've eaten a raw jalapeno spicy, but it is spicy. So you get the little burn back in the back of your throat. Um, the texture of the pasta is really well well done. It's it's not mushy or, or soft or it's not hard. It's just it's cooked just right. Um, I do like the spot the spice. I like the tomato sauce. The meatballs are a little mushy for me. And uh, some people don't mind that. I, I would like them a little firmer, but it's not. It's more like meatloaf than uh, than a meatball to me. Yeah, that pasta is really, really good. Let me try a meatball by itself. Yeah, they're a little soft, but they, they taste more like an Italian sausage than a, than a beef-like meatball. But it is a mixture of all kinds of different stuff. So, I actually like this. Um, if you like a, a spicier tomato sauce with uh, with a, a meatball, meatloafy kind of texture meatball, um, meatball, I think you'll like this. So, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give it a four. I like it. It's not the best meal I've ever had, but it was definitely something I would eat again. Definitely something I recommend that you try out. So a four out of five is what I'm going to give it. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.